Vice Governor visits Batong Hotel to investigate timesharing complaints. Phuket to organize a grand concert to promote reform and progress. PPAO organizes 7th Phuket Local Food Festival to develop and boost tourism. Bakong Housing Subdivision residents distressed over three-month water outage. Police in manhunt for gun drug toting pair. Vice Governor visits Batong Hotel to investigate timesharing complaints. Phuket Vice Governor Panlop Singh Seni on Thursday, January 26, led an investigating team made up of tourist police as well as officers from the Dung Rong Tam Center Phuket, Customs Department, and the Employment Department, along with other involved officials, to visit Mike Hall, the Managing Director of Absolute Hotels Group, and his executives to probe into time-sharing complaints. The team raised two issues at the one-hour meeting. One, that time-sharing members were refused to stay, and two, foreign employees of the company who promote time-share products to tourists, allegedly not having work permits or working jobs not permitted in their work permits. The Absolute Hotel team denied the first accusation, saying that members who follow the rules of booking at least three months in advance have never been refused to stay at the hotels. On the second charge, the executives admitted that some former employees might have been using the hotel's name to work illegally. They would investigate and brief their staff accordingly. They also added that they employed mostly Thais and a few foreigners to promote their time-sharing products, all of whom they insisted have correct work permits from the employment office of Phuket. Vice Cover Panlop told reporters that the investigation followed complaints made by members who were refused to use the hotel. About 10 cases, he said, were related to beachside hotels in Batong, Garun, and Cheng Tile. The vice governor said that a concerted effort by local officers was being made to look into the issue. He added that the authorities would not single out any one hotel and are just trying to maintain the image of Phuket and ensure that hotels follow regulations. He advised tourists to be vigilant and get as much information as possible before committing to any agreement. However, the vice governor downplayed the issue, saying that it was still not a major concern in Phuket. Phuket to organize a grand concert to promote reform and progress. A grand concert entitled Der Na Prate Thai Ruom Jai Pati Rub or roughly, Progress of Thailand United for Reform, was being scheduled to take place in Sapan Hin on February 14th, said Mr. Pak Pum Intara Suwan, Phuket Administrative Clerk, or Balat, at a meeting held on Thursday, January 22nd, in Sapan Hin, among representatives from involved agencies, as well as Ritidet Kot San, the Director of Phuket National Broadcasting Services of Thailand, or MBT. The concert, part of the government's gift to restore happiness to the people, is one of the nationwide activities which will be organized consecutively in 24 provinces. Phuket is the 20th province to confirm staging such an event. Activities will include entertainment from well-known musicians and artists, traditional performance, blue flag stalls selling goods at discounted prices, stalls selling OTOP products, a job market, an exhibition in honor of His Majesty the King to campaign for the love of the country, religion, and the king, and a workshop on debt management, among others. The concert and accompanying activities will be broadcast live from 6.15 p.m. by NBT and Channel 5 as well as Wei T. Thai Company Limited. The meeting discussed and appointed a committee to oversee a smooth running of the concert and related activities.
PPAO organizes 7th Phuket Local Food Festival to develop and boost tourism. The 7th Phuket Local Food Festival was launched in an official ceremony hosted by Governor Nisit Jansomwong at the Sapanhin main stage on the evening of Tuesday, January 20th. The PPAO president, Paibun Upatasing, delivered an opening speech while Manop Yam Utai of the Thai Health Promotion Foundation spoke about the objectives of the festival. The launch ceremony was attended by PPAO executives, officials, and council members, as well as invited guests, the media, and members of the public. Cooking shows, including the world's largest pot of bee got moi, black sticky rice dessert, Khao Yam Phuket rice salad, and cooking contests, as well as stage entertainment performed by students from the PPAO Ban Mai Riap School, accompanied the ceremony. Funded and organized by the PPAO in collaboration with the Thai Health Promotion Foundation, the five-day festival took place at Sapan Hin from January 20th to the 24th. Highlighting Phuket's key attributes that make it a world destination and Thailand's top tourism revenue earner, President Pai Boon said that the uniqueness of the local food was a great selling point and an added value for visitors to the island. The festival, he said, was organized to highlight this trait and to offer an alternative feature to tourists who usually visit the island for its natural beauty. The president went on to list activities of the festival, which included the world's largest pot of beet got moi, Khao Yam Phuket cooking contest, local food contests, musical and stage entertainment by students, Thai food and dessert cooking shows, fruit and ice carving shows, stall selling food products, and traditional shows, among others. The president believed that the festival would pave way for the promotion of a new kind of local tourism. By raising our local food heritage to an international level, both local and foreign tourists would experience another side of our culture, he said, adding that the organization has received support from both government and private sectors. Governor Nisit reiterated the points about Phuket's qualities and how culinary heritage would propose a novel and workable model in local tourism. I therefore wholeheartedly support this festival which promotes Phuket's traditional cuisine and introduces tourists to our culinary roots, or where to eat. I believe that the endeavor will be a great success, concluded Governor Nisit. Bak Housing Subdivision residents distressed over three-month water outage. More than 30 residents of the Prompan Bak Housing Subdivision in Talang, led by Committee President Mr. Pakon Rat Petsut, gathered in front of Phuket Provincial Hall recently to submit an official complaint with the Dumrung Tum Center, the local ombudsman's office, about their housing division being without water supply for more than three months now. Met by Mr. Prapan Gansang, Damrong Tam Phuket chief, the residents handed over a letter with four demands for the government, as follows. 1. To determine the exact cause and reason of the outage. 2. Establish an integrated strategy for the public utilities office to work directly with the housing subdivision's ownership. 3. Issue a clear timeline as to how long the issue is going to take to solve. And 4. Employ public relations to notify slash communicate to the public utilities related repair and maintenance plans. Mr. Pakon Pat explained that homeowners at the subdivision, comprising 280 houses, had not received adequate water supply since October of last year. Some houses in the lower part of the subdivision had received some water at some times, he said, but that most houses higher up didn't receive any water, or might have received it only in the middle of the night. He said that he had notified Phuket's Water Utilities Office back in October, and in November, the only assistance the subdivision got was two water trucks to supply villagers with water, but has been quiet ever since. The Dumrong Tam Center called in the chief of the Water Utilities Office in Phuket, Mr. Pisak Chon Layut, who explained that Phuket water supplies were inadequate in general and currently undergoing a systems overhaul. He said that the province currently has a production capacity of 500 cubic liters, which was inadequate for the city's needs. However, 
he noted that his department is working with a budget of 400 million baht, which is aimed at fixing Phuket's water utilities issues. The upgrades, to be completed by August 2015, he said, will increase Phuket's production capacity to 1,300 cubic liters. In the meantime, to help the distressed residents, he said his department will install booster pumps and send two water trucks every day to supply the residents' water. The residents were content with the offer and finally dispersed, heading home. Police in Manhunt for Gun Drug Toting Pair Phuket police are looking out for two suspects, a male and a female, who on the late hours of January 23rd abandoned their wrecked vehicle after fleeing from police while allegedly ditching drugs and a gun that was reportedly used to cause a disturbance in a residential neighborhood. Residents in the Jalfa Garden Home 3 subdivision in Gok Gao alerted police at about 10 p.m. that suspects in a white Toyota Vios had fired a gun into the air, following a dispute with someone in the neighborhood before fleeing the scene. Police alerted other officers in the province to be on the lookout for said suspects. Later on, at about 1.10 a.m. of January 24th, the white Vios with the plates Gaw 3007 was spotted driving at high speeds near a checkpoint in Bak Klok, but did not stop for officers. Officers pursued the fleeing vehicle and eventually caught up with it, which had crashed into a road sign near the Mission Hills Golf Course and Spa. The assailants of the car, however, thought to be a girl and a guy, had escaped and fleed into the compounds of the golf course. Police searched the car and did not find any illegal items in the vehicle, but found a cell phone providing them with lots of evidence. Police claimed that a SIM card on the phone in the car had recorded clips of all the incidents, as well as a conversation between the two suspects that led police to believe they had ditched a gun and drugs before crashing the vehicle. By sunlight at 6.30 a.m., Police went on a search for the gun and drugs and after 30 minutes were successful in recovering a bag that contained 10.74 grams of Ya Ice, 2,060 pills of Ya Ba, one undisclosed amount of marijuana, and a loaded 11mm pistol with 9 bullets, but no magazine. Police took fingerprints and are looking to make arrests soon. <laughs> 